Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have these fun dandelion ATCs to share with you. So let's jump right in. So to start I am going to use a piece of Strathmore ready cut watercolor paper. It's 5x7 and I love the 5x7 size because then you can cut it into four creating four ATCs. So it's kind of nice to kind of bulk make a couple. So I am going to use some just Distress Oxide sprays. I have tumbled glass, shaded lilac, and hickory smoke. And here you can kind of see that I just spray them on the background, then I add some water. They are dry at this point. It's hard to tell, but every time we add more color, I have dried them in between. I just didn't record it because I figured you guys kind of got the idea. So it's dry. And then here, I'm going to add some water to my background and then pounce my sheet into the added color on the back just to kind of sop up some of that color that got sprayed on my glass mat uh, instead of wasting it. So I did mist the paper with water a few times in between as well, just to get the colors to meld a little bit. I mean, I wasn't going for a, a be like a perfect background because it is the background and I just wanted a lot of color, but anywhere there was kind of some negative space, I kind of just went and pounced it into the ink left on the glass mat. So here I have um, some Tim Holtz, it's Flower Garden is where this stamp is from. And I'm just stamping it in Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink because it is a Copic safe ink. And I am going to Copic color these dandelions. So I stamped out four since I'm going to have four cards. And later you'll see that I stamp out the stem as well. I didn't stamp it here because I kind of thought that I was going to do something a bit different, but it didn't work out. So I went back into just stamping out the stem that comes with it. So I have a few different Copic markers here. I have N0, N2, and N4, and I'm using the neutral grays to kind of add shading and shadow to my petals. Because I wanted the petals to be white, but I did want them to have some shadow to them so that they looked as if there was some depth there. So anywhere that one petal laid on top of another or uh, one of the, pretty much anywhere a, a petal laid on top of each other, I would lay down some gray. Now I do like to work lightest to darkest and darkest to lightest. I find that that gives me the best blend. There's no wrong way to use your markers. That's just how I tend to use them. So I did go in with my lightest tone and then my mid tone and then my dark tone and then I go back in with my mid tone and then my lightest tone just to kind of blend it out. And I'm only going to show you on this first flower. I won't show you coloring all four because I'm going to do them all the exact same. And hopefully when I hold it up you can kind of see how that gray added some depth to the white petals. Um, you could leave them white. I mean, the cardstock's white, so that would work, but I chose to add some color. And then for the, the bloom kind of part on top, I used Y00, Y02, and Y08. And in the end, I also brought in YR08, I believe, just to add a little bit of orange on the top. So when they were all colored in, I brought in my mini snips and I am going to fussy cut them out. I don't believe there's any dyes for these, at least not that I'm aware of. I don't mind fussy cutting. I don't find that it's too difficult, but I know some people don't enjoy it. So there are tons of flowers out there that you could do this with that have matching dyes. It's just that this one doesn't. And this is the only dandelion I had in my stash, and I really wanted to make a dandelion card. So I just, I find it pretty easy to... Uh, cut these out. I mean, I know some people don't enjoy it, but I just, I find that as long as you don't really move your scissors as much, you kind of move the cardstock more, you get a pretty smooth cut. Um, and I, I don't know. I mean, personal preference for sure. Dyes are amazing. I've started to get my hands on them now that I have a Gemini, but for a long time there, I pretty much owned no dyes. Uh, so I have fussy cut a lot of images and I do find you save some money if you don't have to buy the dyes. Although the dyes are super useful so I see why people collect them and I'm starting to collect them now too but I don't I don't mind fussy cutting but it's all personal preference of course so I'm going to fussy cut them all out I won't show you again I'm only going to show you on this first one so you don't have to see that but and then I'm going to excuse me I'm going to bring in the same three colors in my distress oxide inks so it's still tumble glass shaded lilac and hickory smoke and I just have a stamp here this is from Lavinia stamps it's the fairy orbs and I'm just kind of adding them into the background just to add some texture in the same colors that I already have in the background I'm not going to introduce any new colors to my um, image here I think that the the bluey purples in the background and then that orangey yellow on the flower look really pretty together oh sorry I am going to bring in a green to for the stem. But other than that, I'm not going to introduce any new colors to this. So I am going to trim this down here in a sec, and then I'm going to bring in Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide and go around the outside. I really like to frame my images. That's kind of my thing, so I, I really enjoy doing that. And then here you can see I'm just going to cut them into four. So it's 
the only rule to an artist trading card, an ATC, is that it needs to be two and a half by three and a half inches, which is why this five by seven cardstock works perfectly. Because once you cut it into four, it's your perfect two and a half by three and a half, and then you have the four cards, which is just awesome. So there's no waste there. So then you can see I'm kind of just going to play with my layout a little bit so I have an idea. And here I knew I needed a stem. So I, I was going to just cut some strips of cardstock um, and put them underneath, but they didn't really look right. So I end up stamping out a stem from the same stamp set here in a minute. So here is where I brought in that hickory smoke, and I'm just going to blend it around the outside of the ATCs, and I find that that kind of just finishes them. Um, it kind of makes it look like you didn't just trim it out of a bigger sheet. It, it was meant to be this one sized piece. So I kind of like that. I kind of have a tendency to, to frame in all of my stuff. That's just something I have a tendency to do. Um, and anything that I use is linked and listed down below as long as I can find it. Um, I can't always find the stamps that I have in my stamp, set, uh, my stamp collection because I do have stuff that I've had for quite a while. Uh, and this is one of those stamp sets. So I will try to find it. And if I can't find it, I'll find you find something similar with a dandelion on it. But hopefully I can find it and you guys can just use the same one if you'd like to. Um, yeah, so we're going to just finish off this side there and then we're going to stamp out some, stam uh, some stems. So it is the same stamp set for this stem and I'm going to bring it in the exact same ink and stamp on the same Nina Solar White cardstock uh, just because it's one of my preferred to color on with my Copic markers. And I'm not going after a perfect impression here either because it's kind of... Gr not grungy is almost not the right word, but it, it's almost kind of a grungy look like the dandelion it's a, a tim holtz stamp right so it's got that really cool texture and life to it that i i really enjoy out of his stuff so i just brought in the same stem from the same set and then i'm just using g99 as my copic and i only used the one color i didn't shade it nothing lays over top of each other in this so you could have added some shading if you wanted to but i knew that i was gonna trim them out and uh, not need much shading because it's going to go behind and there's not going to be much there. So here you can see I already fussy cut them. I'm not even going to show you that because I showed you fussy cutting earlier. And then I just have a little bottle of Distress Collage Medium, uh, Matte Medium. And I'm just going to use that with a fine tip to lay down my little stem in the one leaf. And then I'll cut off the excess here when we get to the end. Uh, I find the fine tip on the collage bottle makes it way easier to use for something this thin. Uh, I do find it plugs up every once in a while excuse my head there, uh, but I find it just so much easier because I my preferred is Nouveau Deluxe Glue, but the uh, stem is a bit too wide and then I find that it's difficult to use it on something so thin as this. Uh, but that yeah, preferred. I mean, you guys can use whatever you want. Tape runner would work too, if that's your preference. I just have a thing for liquid glue. I find it gives me more time to make sure it's where I want it to be. And then I am going to curl up the leaves on the dandelion. You can see that I'm doing that here. So when I go to stick down my dandelion, I'm only going to use uh, a really thin 3D foam square on the very, like the top of the bud of my little flower. And then I'm going to stick that down and have all the petals kind of standing up. I found that just really added a lot of depth and dimension to a very somewhat flat card. Now, granted, I put these in sleeves, so you're going to lose some of that dimension, but I just think that even a little bit that you still get looks really cool. So I couldn't resist. I had to add some dimension. And then I do flip them over and just trim off what's left of the stem there because there, it is sticking out. And I couldn't, you know, there's no other glitter to this, so I had to bring in my Wink Estella and add it just on top of the, actually, I don't. I didn't write down what it is. I'm going to assume it's Wink Estella. It might be a Spectrum Noir glitter pen. It's one of it's one of the glitter pens. And I just added that on top of the petals. And then I'm going to hold them up here. You can't really see the glitter on them. You can in person, but you can't really see it on the, the finished image there. But I wanted to hold those up so you guys could check out how these ended up. So I'd love to know what you think. If you'd like to leave me a comment, leave me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love that. Um, I put up a new video every Monday and then I have a couple of hops and a couple of different things coming as well. Thank you so much for stopping by guys and I cannot wait till I see you again. Bye bye for now.